Hi and welcome to my channel. In this episode we will find out if the Mac Pro trash can from 2013 is still worth it in 2020. I mainly use my computer for video editing in Final Cut Pro and DaVinci Resolve and it has worked okay until I started editing 4K material for my Mavic 2 Pro and Osmo Pocket. The computer just struggled transcoding and rendering all the clips and it took forever. All the six cores were maxed out. So I decided that I need an upgrade. I was choosing between the 10 core and the 12 core CPU and I finally decided that the 10 core was the sweet spot for me. The 10 core has slightly higher base frequency and at the time the 12 core were not available in Sweden. So starting with opening the Mac Pro. Taking a T10 Torx. Taking my T8. Next, remove the T10 Torx. Okay. Turn the computer over. Lift the cover, put it aside. Then remove these two screws. These are T8s. Lift these two cable connectors straight out of the sockets. These are for the graphic cards, like so. And this is connected to the motherboard. So, and detach this cable connector on the other side of the board, like so, and put this aside. Lift the computer and put it on the bottom plate. Like so. And on these, on the sides, you have a T5 screw that holds the grate. Okay, and pull off the grate. And once this is removed, you should be able to see the six screws, T8, remove them. OK, 
Okay, so once those six screws are removed, you should be able to remove the power supply. Put that aside. And now we can see the four screws that holds the um, processor. It's T10. So remove them in a cross pattern so you don't stress the processor. So once the four screws are removed, you should be able to take the processor off like so. Remove the four screws that holds the processor to the motherboard and be careful and do it in a cross pattern, star pattern, so you won't have any excessive force on the processor. Once these four screws are loose, you can take off the bracket and this little holder. Flip the motherboard around and you should be able to lift the processor from the motherboard like so. So this is the 6 core Xeon 1650 3.5 gigahertz that's going to be replaced. Okay, on the processor, there are four holes and if you line up them incorrectly, the processor won't fit. Flip the motherboard around very gently. Put this bracket back like so. Remember to tighten the screws in a cross pattern. And you will feel when they are tightened. For the cooling paste, I'm using Cryonaut. Thermal Grizzly Cryonaut. And uh, 
included in the box is the paste, of course, but also this spatula, so we can spread the paste over the processor. So take the paste. Put it on the, on the processor and spread it evenly. And uh, put it together. And make sure they line up fine. And put the four screws back on. Then set the power supply back on. six screws put the top grate back okay so next flip the whole computer upside down again and reconnect this one it pops and line up the board to the card push it all the way in and reconnect the graphic card and, and the other graphic card and put the screws back on. These are the T8s. So. Place the computer back on the bottom plate. Like so. Take the fan Replace the antenna And the fan connector Make sure it's all the way in and then gently put the bracket back it's hole that holds the fan connector and align the fan on the computer Like so. Finally, the five T10s that 
that holds the fan. Put the memory cards back on. They should just snap in place. And put the cover back on. Unlock the cover. So there you have it. 2013 Mac Pro trash can uh, replaced the 6 core with the 10 core processor, the 262690. After booting up, the new 10 core processor show up in the system information. Looking at some benchmarks in Geekbench 5, there is a 70% increase in performance compared to the 6 core processor. This is just amazing. Surprisingly, it is just behind the new Mac Pro 2019 with the base 8 core configuration and also just behind the 8 core iMac Pro from 2017. All in all, this is just a great upgrade. It took less than an hour, cost about 200 euros, and it was actually not as difficult as I thought it should be. So, is the 2013 trash can Mac Pro still worth it in 2020? Yes, with the new 10 core processor, it is, especially if you use it for video editing 4K. If you find this episode useful, please like and subscribe.